Hey guys, your favorite Red and Blue Fox, Spiky McFox. And, um, by the time this video is uploaded, it's probably going to be after the current video that I'm making, um, about the assumptions and stuff. But, oh man, this light is too bright. I just thought I'd make a video for you guys. Sorry, I'm just dimming the light a little bit. Um, I just thought I'd make a video for you guys, um, because this is really important to me. It's about Sophie, of course, and stuff I didn't know about the incident. And, um, I just thought I'd talk about it. I'm gonna adjust my hair. I'm sorry. I'm probably not gonna edit this video much because I don't really see the need to. Um, but basically... I'm going to try not to mention her mom's name because I think I mentioned it in the last video and I don't know if her mom's fine with that. So I'm just going to try to, like, try my best to not do that. Um, but anyways, this, um, I believe it was, yeah, it was this Sunday, was a, a tree memorial. My mom wasn't there because she was up north at the cabin, at our cabin. Um, well, my grandparents' cabin, but that, that doesn't matter. She was up north, and uh, me and my dad, I took that day off of work so I could go to this um, tree memorial thing at um, one of the park districts by us for Sophie. Of course, she got an oak tree, which really fits her because we chose at the Girl Scout troop, since me and her were in Girl Scouts and everything. We chose, um, we chose an oak tree because she loves climbing trees, and they're very strong and everything. And I will say... Even though some of us quit Girl Scouts, she stayed all the way through which, until she had to move down to Florida. But that was really awesome. Um, but anyways, today what I'm here to tell you is I got new news that I didn't know about. Um, about her death. Or I should say her passing. Because, you know. Apparently she wasn't alone. She was with two boys. I think they both worked. Um, it sounds like they both worked at um, the same Thai restaurant she did. And they were all just like driving home and stuff like that. Um, but apparently she wasn't alone. You know, she, she was like not alone. Um, what happened was like the night before or so, her mom asked her, Hey, Sophie, do you want me to pick you up from work? Because we're going to go out to dinner with my friend. She said, no, that's all good. I'll bike. I have some friends to bike with. Um, and, of course, it was late at night, too. And it was, like, on a... I believe it was on a Friday. Because we left a Saturday from Bonaire. And apparently the night before, she had passed. And we didn't know about that, of course, till the next day. And it was the day we were leaving. So I believe it was Saturday. Sorry, I have to adjust my hair. But the point is, is that um, she was with the two boys. So she was biking home or biking to the restaurant or whatnot um, with the two boys. All three of them. One of them was close to her. Like one of them was about her age. The other one was older. And what happened was um, all three of them were biking on the sidewalk. And of course, Sophie, it was a bridge that she was on when she passed. But when that idiot hit her, basically. Um, the idiot who actually looks like Mr. Burns. It's, it's, trust me guys, I'll have to show you guys a picture sometime. He literally looks just like Mr. Burns. But anyways, and I know people, some of my friends have been like, how could you joke like that? I'm like, I'm not joking, it's just the truth. He looks like freaking Mr. Burns. But anyways, what happened was, I think she was behind both the boys, but the boy in the middle, I believe, from what I'm interpreting, the boy in the middle was the boy who was about her age and he decided to go on the street and bike so it was obviously in the wrong lane the wrong side of traffic like still in the bike lane but you know so Sophie followed him and the guy who was the older guy who was still on the sidewalk said um guys I'd be careful because I just swear I just saw uh, like a drunk driver driving in the distance and swerving around and um I don't know if they just listened or if they were like if it, I think it was just like a snap second like he the the drunk driver came up that quickly like you know they didn't really get time to react what happened was the boy in front of her when the car came his back tire got hit 
but of course it hit Sophie. And apparently to this day, the same boy thinks, like, why, why wasn't it me? Um, and then in that very moment, Sophie's mom was driving with, with her friend to the restaurant and going to meet up with Sophie and everything. And her mom was about to pull in the parking lot and she just stops. And her friend's like, what's going on? Why didn't you stop in the parking lot? And she said, well, I have a feeling I need to check in on Sophie. Something doesn't feel right. And apparently at the second Sophie passed, her spirit passed right through Dawn passed right through Sophie's mom's heart. Sorry, I, I probably won't cut that out, but I won't say her name. And like, she literally felt it because it was so intense and she could just tell it was Sophie. And I think after that, she got a call from the hospital. She on, actually went to the wrong hospital. And um, then when she had to go to the right one, she had to identify the body, which is always the worst. I've never had to do it, but it's like when it's your own daughter, it's like, it, you, you just can't, you know, but you have to, you know, but there were some interesting stories. I think I talked about them about like Sophie's cross, how, um, they, I think it disappeared or something, or it was just, I think it was just laying at the spot she was just waiting for her mom to pick it up or something. I think she still has that cross, of course, to this day, which is pretty amazing because Sophie never took that cross off. And in fact, this hat was the only hat I hated this concert but Sophie invited me to it it was like it was the Jingle Bell Bash of 2018 I believe I think or maybe it was 2016 I'd have to look it up the point is she invited me to this concert I wasn't interested but I went anyway and apparently like out of all the friends she chose me which is so sweet but basically when we took this picture with both of our hats because she bought one and I decided to buy one too she had her cross and I'll have to show you guys that picture later, but she had her cross. It was always there. Um, but I, this, anyways, this hat is very important to me because it's the only article of clothing I officially remember buying with her and the one I know relates to her. I have some of her clothes when she gave some to me, like some of her old clothes, but I don't remember. I know that the army pants I have are hers, but I don't know if like my navy shirt is or what. So I'd have to ask her mom if her mom... Like, when her mom is ready to tell me, I feel like her mom's obviously, and going to be for a while, going through a bunch of stuff with all this. So it's kind of like, you know, I kind of want to wait. You have to be careful because you don't want to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. But the point is, this is very important to me, even though it's Shawn Mendes, and I do not like Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes, but it's still important to me. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm getting really hot, but this has been today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say, even though it was obviously not something that's exciting or anything like that. Please comment what you thought and leave a like. And remember, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for, it was, I'm sorry guys. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications anytime I upload a new video. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna edit this video, so you'll see all that chopped footage. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.